I'm Danny Surname and it's wonderful to see you again. I say that because I assume that you're coming here from the footage of my drunken house party that I put up. If not, go and watch that first because seven drunken teenagers is far more visually exciting than five hungover ones. But without further ado, here is the footage from the morning after that party. I'm filming the, the crappy after party. What is it? Crappy. crappy There's only five of us left, everyone else is left. Everyone else. There's other three there people. people. Okay, the other three people that were here have left. <gasps> Have you seen my hair when there's nothing on it? When it's just like... It goes both sides, so I look like this. I've got this really dodgy double-sided comb over. It doesn't work. It looks minging. It's fucking hilarious. Though, it's not. No, it it's is. Not. It looks, it's not for it, you. It looks postman! Terrible. Sorry. Yeah, that is a postman. But you said postman. I was like, you postman! <laughs> I didn't end up vlogging much last night. Because you're a terrible, terrible vlogger. And you know, you got a bit too drunk. drunk. I think I was a bit too drunk. But you didn't take any pictures either. Why are I you going to have really. the memories? Be Just because like, I didn't take any what? pictures doesn't mean I'm going no, to forget took the whole night. Of us outside at five oh my morning. god, that did. was so fun. You, how did I look like a serial killer? Because you were, watch, you were like standing near the bushes taking pictures of us all. Why would I take pictures of someone I was going to murder? Oh, that associates me with the body. The Joel Piano Man. I think we need to tell the story of Megan waking up because that was the highlight of my night. People wanted to watch a movie so we turned on the TV and we couldn't we, find no, anything. Lana wanted to watch a movie. Wanted Lana, to watch a movie. Lana wanted to watch a movie so we turned on the TV to try and find something but we couldn't and we were scrolling through all the channels and we ended up on Babe Station and we thought oh we'll stick this on for a laugh and then Megan was asleep and we kept shouting to her Megan wake up there's boobs on the TV and she thought we were lying. <laughs> and we scrolled through, there's about five Babe Station channels, and we scrolled through all of them, and we were on... There was four, there was Babe Station, was four. Babe Station X, Babe Station Extra, and Babe Station Blue. Yeah, and oh, we were on Babe Station Extra at the time, and there was a, like a fully naked woman, and we were sh we were shouting, Megan, get up, there's a naked woman on TV, and then that's when she finally woke up, and she woke up to a naked woman, jiggling her boobs on TV. Yeah, that's one of the awesome things that happened last night. Yeah, what else was really, really funny? I remember asking most boys that I know whether they dress to the right or to the left. What else happened last night? And you said if that you're male, hide in the really comments small. whether you dress to the right or to Maybe the left. Because he didn't do either. Oh, no. Megan stretched a condom over her hand. So did I you. missed all of that. Yeah, I stretched a condom over my hand. It was mint flavoured and it tasted alright, actually. Oh yeah, you were out when the plate smashed as well. Plate Francis smashed. doesn't remember the plate being me smashed. Me and Danny were just washing up and I went, eh, this was a success, nothing got broken. She's like, no, Megan smashed a plate. I was like, yeah. never mind then. And condoms are surprisingly easy to snap. Like, I thought they were a bit more durable than that, but I put it on my hand and it literally went... I had to go to rehearsals drunk. That's happened before. I think everybody knew. Morgan got drunk really quickly because Babe was just down inside her. It was hilarious. Yeah, I think she regrets it now. Sing us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody. Oh, before no. any of us got drunk, yeah. Megan started reading us all Brokeback Mountain. Oh yeah, we had a dramatic reading of Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, Morgan was drunk. Morgan the rest was of us drunk. Were fine. But the rest of us were sober and we had a dramatic reading of Brokeback Mountain that never finished. And hasn't she left Brokeback Mountain? Yeah, I think so. We yeah, only got as far well. as he was wearing a woolly suit. He was wearing a woolly suit. Yeah. Me mum knitted it! <laughs> That's we had we Truth of Dare and we had never Secret have I Time ever. and Never Have I Ever. That Secret Time did not work, we just said it was Secret Time and then yeah. there was like... Did yeah, no we were going to have Secret Time and then no secrets happen. were told. We watched My Sister's Keeper and cry. Oh, yeah. And the best part were Megan's... Launch like, yeah. on the porch! Megan Launch on the porch! I, I felt really bad because I didn't cry at all. I cried a little bit, I only cry when Jessie cries. That's the only bit that really makes me cry. I cry when the lawyer has his epileptic fit. Catherine, bless her, was just gone. She was yeah. absolutely... But she'd never seen him before. Yeah, she, she hadn't. Was... Whenever Megan was saying something, Catherine was just like, shh. I know. I want to listen to it. Danny burnt the hot dogs. <laughs> the food was either really undercooked or really burnt, and I burned uh, the hot dogs. My kebabs were brilliant. Your kebabs were brilliant because you cooked them. <laughs> You should just say you're having a barbecue and then just cook everything in the oven because everyone goes home satisfied with the food that they have ate. I don't care where it's cooked as long as I get the chicken. Okay, I think I'm going to say goodbye now because you've stopped saying stuff that's interesting. Exactly. You've just started yeah, talking yeah, you you start talk about chicken now that's less interesting <laughs> you've than just stuff. I bet about five people of your followers are just now getting interested because they heard the word chicken. Okay, they've just been bored the entire video and they and heard then chicken. Heard, and, and then they're just chicken. Chicken. Sorry, what? 
chicken. Yeah, you should just be like, subscribe, I'll give you a chicken. <laughs> I have so little subscribers, I could probably manage that as well. Buying them each a free chicken. A you could give them chicken. an egg. Make your own chicken! Make <laughs> your own chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good idea. But yes. you not think Lee's done loads of old songs because it's written by middle-aged writers. So they're all songs from their generation. So of course the they're going to be the ones that they that they have that on, like that are the ones that they hear every single day on the radio when they're coming into work. Yeah. Where's the microphone on this? I don't know. Hmm. How Wait. long have you had this camera? How long have you been vlogging with this camera? And vlogging? Still... How long have you been vlogging with that camera? How long have you been I worked it out the other day. I my first not. video was in um, April because my first one was a book one. And then I did a second book one and I accidentally deleted it. I've read one book ever. If I start doing more book talks, will that make you read some books? Because no. I'm your favourite YouTuber. No. Oh, fuck. No, nothing will make Lana read more books. Oh, I like, I'm 16 years old and I have just read a book, like one book, on my own. Cause I don't think we're going to be friends anymore. Emma, I don't write a book. Oh. That's a lie. Sing me home. Sing not, you home. Not many. Yeah, but you loved Sing You Home. That counts. You read and loved a book. Yeah, I loved the book. Mm. I loved the book I read. It was called Twenties Girl. It was a ghost story. Lovely. But like a funny ghost story, not like a creepy ghost story. I love most of the books I read. But Unless they're, like they're really bad and I can criticise them. Have you ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? I have read parts of Fifty Shades of Grey. I couldn't, I couldn't stomach the rest. I mean, seriously, that's some shit sex right there. I know, like, apparently it's really badly written. The, boring, the sex, like, the sex how is, like, How many times not is he going to spank her? Uh-huh, like, like, that's not exciting when no. it's been done, like, 60 million times. Exactly. I found an erotic book the other day that I got a sample for, and literally, I'd read three sex scenes in two pages. That was how quick this book was. Freaking hell. I know. It was a vampire one as well. So, so like mm. Twilight meets Fifty Shades. Yeah. Well Fifty Shades was a Twilight That's, fanfiction. Um, it's ironic though because in Twilight he doesn't want to have sex with her because he doesn't want to hurt her. And then in Fifty Shades it's all about hurting her. Yeah. <gasps> More queen! Continue with your story. Alright. And she was like, Yeah, I like Twilight. I'd be like, I don't like you, regardless of your age, your gender. If you like Twilight, I don't like you because you do not have a brain that can function you properly. You've not read a full book. I have read a full book. I've won a full book. Technically, I've Does read. Does that give you the book. right to judge the Twilight? Do you know what? Book? Technically, I've read books. I like the the writer Michael Morpurgo because I like. Are you serious? I hate Michael Morpurgo. No, he didn't. Are you serious? Michael Morpurgo came to our school. How do I not remember that? That wasn't Michael Morpurgo. That was the guy who wrote Moby Joe. Oh, no. I know that. No, he didn't come in for that. He was like, it's because they were doing some foundation charity thing for boots. I couldn't stand the, the giant's necklace. Yeah, that one was a bit weird. <sighs> they were all a bit weird. They're all depressing. I'd rather read something that has a glimmer of happiness in it. One of the kids mentioned Twilight and I went, oh god, I hate Twilight. And they were like, <gasps> all of them were like, oh my god, how can you hate Twilight? I think it depends how old you are when you read it. Yeah. Because when it came out, we were kind of... When it came out, I was the right age and I loved it. But see, the thing is, at the time, I was really, really into vampires. Like, that was my thing. I loved them. I read like all the Darren Chan books, which you should read because they're brilliant, but they're like real vampires that actually suck humans' blood. Okay, I'm gonna actually say goodbye now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna witness you your life. I'm gonna fangirl. You're gonna fangirl <laughs> because you're gonna witness the sign off live. I feel embarrassed because I don't like doing it in front of people. Lani, why don't you do it? No, I'm not worthy. We should all take a little bit. I'm just so. Like... Okay, does everyone want to do a little piece of the sign off? Yeah. Give Daddy an ego boost. Like the video. Subscribe. We'll see you soon. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Just for Lana so she can fangirl. Okay. You ready? Okay. Give me an ego boost, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.